tanto jugando suelto como en competición. Tanto si se trata de un rápido 9 hoyos o de un gran 36. Tanto si juegas bajo presión o arrasando, siempre das lo mejor de ti. Nuevo fue el de Food Joy. All right, David, solid finish to the week and good week overall. How would you assess the week and what was clicking for you? Yeah, I, I hit the ball really well this week. My short game, I actually struggled with uh, my first two rounds and had to talk with my short game coach and sort of got that figured out. And you know, I just played really solid. And, uh, you know, if my short game was anywhere decent, I think I was like 0 for 8 the first couple days. If it was anywhere decent, it would be right there, up there in the hunt. Who, who's your short game coach? His name's Pat Goss. Okay, yeah. Northwest. Yeah. And okay. what was the change? Did you change? I was just or? releasing it too much, and he saw that, and I was scooping it. So uh, yeah, I was leaving everything short. Did he see it like on? on yeah, TV I just sent. Oh, no, I just sent him some uh, videos on. Uh, yeah, I just sent them over to my phone. And um, how would you assess your season so far? This is a good result that's going to kind of help secure you in that top one twenty-five. Yeah, I uh, I got off to a really slow start. Played terrible. My putting was bad, and uh, did a lot of work in the off season. And I played really solid since the beginning of the year, and uh, just hoping to keep that going. And Kirk Kiriyama, you guys are pretty good friends. What's um? Could you describe your relationship with him when you met him, and just what? It's I've, like? I've known Kirk for a long time. Um, I was sort of the impetus to go to Asia, then go to Europe, and then. Uh, obviously he played well out there, and then he came out here. And you know, we, we both live in Vegas. We practice and play together all the time. And you know, hopefully uh, he keeps it going. You know, through the final round. He's one of your like most frequent practice round. Like when you're back home, you play together a good amount. Yeah, we, we'll play together a few times a week. Oh, you know, we'll, we'll always get money games going. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll either play at TPC Summerlin or we'll go out to Shadow Creek. What impresses you about his game, and how do you describe his game? Um, he hits it a mile. I mean, he hits it when he's on. He hits it so far and straight. And um, he's a great putter. He's really improved the short game, and I think that's what's uh, keeping him in it right now. Um, hopefully, it'll just you know it's windy out there. Some of the tougher holes are coming in, so hopefully, he just hits it straight and makes those spots. How um like what, how many years ago did you meet him? Uh, I met him like five years ago. Okay. Yeah. In Vegas? Or? In Vegas. Ever since I moved out there, I've played and practiced with him. You just were kind of in the same circles? Yeah, and... yeah, we practiced the same places, so we got to know each other, and we traveled a lot together on the European tour. Um, we still travel together out here, and he has one of my best friends on the on the bag. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're really close. Who is that on the bag? His name's Brian Martin. Brian Martin. Yeah. And what was it? You mentioned the Asian tour and encouraging yeah. him to go over there. What kind of inspired you to make that suggestion so. well i mean he just he was playing the corn fairy at conditional he didn't have a uh, great status and he wasn't playing great and i told him uh, going out to asia you know especially if you want to make a little bit of money and you know see the world it's not a bad place to be and kind of his spirit went lent itself to traveling and from what you saw, kind of like you traveling all over the world? Not to the same extent as me. I, I've op had to open him up a little bit, but, uh, you know, he, he's really good with it now. And for you, what's kind of looking forward? What are you planning to play these next few weeks? Are you going to... I'll play most of the events, honestly. Hopefully everything I can get into. Um, we're obviously coming into a little bit of a stretch with majors and invitationals, so I'm just hoping to play my way into a few of those. Awesome. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to see you. El nuevo Pro SL no tiene clavos, pero tiene un agarre increíble. Con una plancha de carbono adicional para optimizar el retorno de energía y un nuevo y moderno diseño, el zapato original de máximo rendimiento sin clavos tiene algunas ventajas importantes.